Hey everybody, it's Allison and I am here again in Las Vegas at CinemaCon 2023 and I am speaking to what has now become an annual event here uh, with Ray, <laughs> talking to Ray Nutt of Fathom Events. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. It's good to see you again. It's very good to see you. Last year when we spoke, we were talking about streaming and about the industry coming back and theaters coming back but there was speculation that streaming would hurt theaters. This year, the theme of CinemaCon seems to be theaters aren't going anywhere, and there's statistical analysis to prove that theaters are coming back and coming back strong. How does that fit into Fathom and what you do specifically? Well, I think uh, theaters are, are they're not only not going anywhere, they are going forward. And so we're seeing a lot of traction, specifically with the type of content that we acquire and distribute. Uh, in 2022, Fathom was 86% of 2019, the last healthiest year. And I think the industry in general was running about 20 points behind that. So we're seeing uh, more and more traction from filmmakers and uh, things are things are moving forward. So we're, we're very, very happy. Uh, streaming is, is streaming and I think I think customers are going to find their way back to movie theaters. They're going to gather communally, and uh, there's some so there's some really good content, whether it's content for event cinema or just mainstream comment that or content that are uh, that are out there right now. So people are back. They are back, and it seems like last year it almost was like a fight between streaming and theaters and streaming and streaming, um, and now it seems like more of a collaborative effort. Are you feeling that as well? Yeah, I think I think the studios, in my opinion at least, uh, who have a lot of the streaming services are recognizing that there's a theatrical window that will produce meaningful revenue and also help promote the, uh, the downstream on their streaming services as well. So I think everybody's settling into their... Uh, to their windows, if you will, and, and monetizing those and taking advantage. And if people uh, people want to see movies at the movie theater, they're going to go there. And uh, there's others that they're going to see at home, but uh, the preference is obviously the movie theater. And I did hear as well that movies seem to perform better on streaming once they've had a theatrical, a healthy theatrical release. So I think that's great for the industry as a whole, both streaming and movie theater houses. What's happening at Fathom? Tell me what the year's been like since we last spoke. What's coming up that you can talk about? Well, we've got some exciting news uh, about, uh, I don't know, 10 years ago or so, uh, before I joined Fathom, uh, our industry was known as, or our sector of the industry was known as alternative content. And when I got to Fathom so almost six years ago now, I, I uh, looked at that and said, I really don't like the brand alternative content. I want what we're doing to be more meaningful than what it is. And uh, so alternative content always sounded like it was put on, you know, content that was put on a shelf and we just sort of got it and put it in theaters whenever. And that's how it all started. But we wanted to take it forward. So about six years ago, we moved the brand to what we call event cinema, which I just referenced a little bit ago. And we've been doing that uh, one or two nights. But in 2022, we did 117 events and we did 333 event nights. So we sat back last year and we said, listen, we're basically out of days. There's only 365 <laughs> days in a year. So let, let's, let's, um, let's move the brand to whatever the next evolution is. So we're calling that evolution specialty distribution. So we've moved from alternative content to event cinema to specialty distribution. And we're very excited about this because we're following the market. The market is dictating. Filmmakers are out there saying, you know what, I got some really good content after the pandemic, um, and we know that we can have you distribute it. So we'll see, you know, films more in the five million plus area that we're, where we've always done a lot of million, two million dollar films. We're going to see a lot more in that higher category. So we'll do probably fewer events and fewer films moving forward. Uh, that's what differentiates uh, specialty distribution. But we'll maybe run them a little bit longer, maybe a week, maybe a couple of show times a day, that type of thing. Um, and you saw this when we, uh, when we uh, partnered with The Chosen, for example. Uh, about half of our content last year was faith-based, and The Chosen led that. We did uh, in December of 2021. We did The Messengers, which was our first uh, entree with uh, 
with uh, the Chosen, and then we did seasons three, one and t uh, I'm sorry, season three, episodes one and two, and then we did episodes seven and eight to wrap it up as well. And, and season uh, three, one and two was our highest event ever. We did uh, 15 million dollars on that. So that's more the category that we want to get into as an example of specialty distribution. I love it, and I have to say that. It having longer run dates for Fathom events, because you have had some really great events, but in the past you get one night only. And yes, there is that excitement building of one night only, but if you can't make it that one night, you don't get to see it. <laughs> so I think it's going to be great for the company. I need to say something. I feel very old because I just saw on the website that Flashdance is having its 40th anniversary. <laughs> So, what is it like bringing those older-ish movies back into theaters? Well, we've always had a, uh, a wonderful relationship with all the studios for classic movies, and you're right, we do bring them back on an on a anniversary basis, and I, I, you're not the, one that, the only one that feels old, because when I see a, a 50th anniversary, or 40th anniversary, or even an 80th anniversary, you know, Gone with the Wind or something like that, I'm like, well, you got to be kidding me, but uh, Flashdance is playing this week. Uh, a wonderful movie, but we've got a, a, a real good lineup too coming up. We've got The Birds, we've got Grease, uh, all anniversary titles, and a, a, a wide variety. And some exciting news, we've actually just recently hired Leonard Malton to introduce uh, about a dozen of our classic movies that we bring back. So he, he does a fantastic job. I had breakfast with him a couple weeks ago in L.A., and he's just a, uh, um, a, a museum uh, or an encyclopedia of everything about movies, uh, and it's so exciting to sit down and talk to him. But he's going to be bringing that wealth of knowledge to uh, our fans that come to see our classic movies. Yeah, I know Paramount Presents did a whole thing with uh, Blu-rays releases, and he, they always have him talking about whatever film it is on it. And you're right, he is like a walking history encyclopedia of movies. It's amazing. So that's going to be a new exciting component to any Fathom event. You in the past as well have also dealt with anime a lot. Um, and there's also a live action I forget the name of the film now. Spirited Away. Thank you. <laughs> Spirited Away. Why is anime so popular, and how does it fit into your content, in a sense? Anime has always been a huge vertical for us, and we've, we've done very, very well with it. Every year we've partnered with uh, G-Kids to bring Ghibli Fest to theaters, and this year we're actually celebrating um, uh, Miyazaki. He's been in the film business for almost 50 years now, and so we're bringing back Spirited Away, we're bringing back Howls, we're bringing back, uh, we just we just did Totoro, My Neighbor Totoro, and it did very, very well. So I think it's about 10 or 11 films that we're bringing back that's Miyazaki, one of which is the one you referenced, Spirited Away, it's a live stage play, oh. and, and we're right in the middle of that right now. It opened very, very well, and I think we're doing it today and tomorrow, closing it out, and uh, and it, it it's done fantastic. So it just goes to show you for the right right way to package and bundle some of these films and market them correctly, it all works out very, very well. It definitely does. And Fathom brings something to the table that I don't think anybody else does, which is phenomenal and brings back either these old films or anime that we wouldn't otherwise see. Going forward ahead, what do you see for the future of Fathom? Like you said, when, oh, about six years ago when you started, you wanted to switch from that alternative content, and you've done it. So what's next? Well, we've got a number of different uh, product coming up. We're uh, actually um, partnering with uh, Bleecker Street. Uh, Helen Muren has a picture coming out called Golda, and it is fantastic. It is, uh, I've seen it. Uh, we're excited to partner with Bleecker Street. We're going to premiere it before it actually opens for a regular run. And then uh, Helen will do a uh, Q&A. Uh, so fans will get to see uh, see her and hear from her and everything. And she's, she, I don't know if anybody in Hollywood works as, as hard as she does. Uh, I think she's doing something like six films this year or whatever, but this one is, is pretty awesome. Um, we're also uh, partnering with, you remember the... Uh, uh, Duck Dynasty franchise, um, uh, so we're, we're partnering with them 
uh, Phil Robertson. Uh, it's, it's, they did the duck blind, or yeah. I'm sorry, the, the movie's called The Blind. Yeah. And it's a story about Phil Robertson who founded the company and everything. And uh, he has a, an entire family, a huge family that's, that's behind this. And it's a uh, biopic about him and his life. And he, yeah. he struggled with uh, alcohol and, and uh, drug abuse early on. It, uh, it almost ruined his family, but it's a story of redemption about them getting back together. And we think this film that opens this fall is going to be huge. Uh, so, uh, so that's another thing to look forward to with Adam. Well, the reality show was humongous for them. So I think, I think fans, and it has been off for a couple of years, I think. So I think bringing it to a movie theater and that whole concept, I think, is going to bring it, draw people in. Absolutely. So it will, and and you know, I'm looking also for more television product that's out there as well to bring to movie theaters. Recent statistics and some of our recent events tell us that putting TV, the right TV content on screen is uh, is something that people will come out and get off their couch on a, on a weekday night or a weekend night, whatever, and come and see uh, see our, see our uh, product out there. So wrapping the right marketing and promotion and advertising around it is very, very important. But we'd like to help more and more um, networks who have television product promote that on the big screen. And that's so great, too, because you get like a little snippet of the show and then you they watch it at home the rest of the time but those first few episodes are exciting you're in a big theater you've got great quality and you've got like-minded people who are watching it with you which is always the best so i know that's become more and more prevalent and i'm glad to see that you guys are going to get involved with that as well so ray this is always so much fun talking to you it's it's like old home week so <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, and it, we'll, we'll do this again, same time, same place, next year. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, Allison.